So, can we all just agree that this show is a masterpiece? Okay, can we all agree? I mean, on IMDb, it's got a 9.5. I think this show is a masterpiece so far. Thus far, I think this is, this is as good as it gets on television, especially for a comic book show. Like, this is as good as it gets. If nobody knew anything about Penguin, if nobody knew that this was attached to DC Comics, that this was attached to the Batman lore, I guarantee people would still enjoy this. And I think that's what makes this show so potent, so freaking awesome. It stands on its own two legs, bruh, as, a, a, as an excellent, masterfully written, masterfully you know performed, acted show. And I think that's what's great because I saw episodes three and four together. And bruh, episodes three, I have to say, I, I won't say I've been rooting for the penguin, but I empathize with him, right? I get, right, he's a, he's a, he's a troubling character, right? But we get his motivation due to his mother. We see that, hey, he's just trying, he's just trying to be a son. He's just trying to be a good son. He's not the best looking, you know? <laughs> so, you know, it, there's a limited amount that he's he's able to accomplish, okay? He's physically disabled, so he's going the route that he believes is is best for him. It seems he grew up in it, and that's what he did. Started off as a driver, and now he's where he is. And what he wants, from what I've gathered, what at the end of the day, what he wants is just some respect. That's really it. He wants some respect. He wants to be revered as he sees himself. I would say maybe you could say a Napoleon complex, but you also have to take into account that at his core, I don't believe that's who he is. And I think it's very much, as the, the show has shown, that a lot of his character, a lot of who he is currently right now, and where it comes from, is from his mother. That's where that comes from. And somehow he's embraced that, and it, it's just, you know, it's synchronized and harmonious with the lifestyle that he's chosen. Of him, you know, fighting his, and clawing his, you know, way to the top. And if we combine this, with the end of freaking three and episode four, Lord in heaven. Because when we get to climaxes like this, like you can write a good show, do a climax and completely destroy it. Completely destroy the show. I have yet to see that happen, but I've been anticipating because I'm like, this is too good to be true. It's just too good to be true. You see the next episode, it's just too good to be true. And so I'm anticipating like, okay, they screwed it up. That's what I've been anticipating. And it, I, I, I've been disappointed at them not, be, you know, at, at me expecting a disappointment. <laughs> so I, that's a great thing to, to have watching a show. But to see him completely turn on Sophia at the end of episode three, fam, I was like, yo, what? And I'm like, it was my mind was blown because I'm thinking, okay, he's going to use her to try and get to the top and they're going to go buddy, buddy. And eventually he's going to turn on her. That's what I'm anticipating. But for, for that to happen and for her now to know that he killed her brother and that he was throwing her under the bus, you know, when faced with the gun, I'm just like, you really start to see that this guy is a POS. All empathy, all sympathy you have for this guy gets thrown out the window. Gets thrown out the window. And then seeing, you know, his, uh, you know, I forgot his name, the black kid, seeing that that's the life that he's chosen, right? Him going, him not going with the girl and leaving, he's chosen that. He's like, okay, you're right. I do want more. I do want more for myself. Who doesn't? Like, honestly, what person, you know, at, at the end of the rope wouldn't want more if they were given the opportunity. Despite, you know, the, the, the legality, you know, complications of their, uh, this, this uh, relationship, for what person, right, if you got nothing loose, why wouldn't you want more? You'd be like, yo, I like this. I can provide now, I got money. So I get his motivation and his motivation is real. The great thing about all these people is that their motivations are real. And you can take this honestly in animation. I have to do a video on, on the difference between an animator and a character animator. And watching this show really shows this, really shows of who the penguin is. You don't have to see, if you were to close your eyes and someone to describe him, how he walks, how he talks, if you were to hear this guy talk, you would be able to picture a character. And just, if you were to remove his voice, 
how he walks, how he dresses, his, you know, the saccades of his eyes, his rhythm, his patterns, the, the drawl of his, you know, the, his mouth, how he stutters and, you know, how he forms words and everything. It's very lazy and every, but every word is just powerful and impactful. Just everything about it is the character, is the character of the animation. And that's what we have to focus on, on as, as animators. And going back to the show, the acting of her realizing that this guy has been lying to her the whole entire time. Bro, she's talking about, hey, I have a problem. I don't know how I can trust you. And he's like, yo, let me, you know, by, by me constantly proving myself, right? Let me keep on showing you. And it's just like to see that shatter, just <laughs> shatter in an instant. And her eyes, the subtle acting is just, I, I, I was left speechless. Cause it's, so, it's just, her eyes, then the eyebrows and her mouth and then the turn, like, the, like the, if it, from animator terms, right? It's it's overlap, a, a fall through, you know, twinning. There's nothing going on. It's just everything just happened to, sh to hit this moment. Like you, like are you, what? And then how the the sound goes out as he's just he's he, he having spit come from his mouth because he's pleading with it, you know, for his life. He's just a slob, bro. He's just a pig. At that moment, she sees him. I think we see him for who he truly is. He's not some ambitious person. He is a, the, the lowest of the low who is willing, he would, as far as probably turning his own mother, if it meant saving his life, he would do anything to save his own skin. And he'll listen to him just pleading and yeah, blah, 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 blah. You don't know what he's saying until we get to episode four. And it's just, whoo, it's brutal. And then to have him say, leave her, leave her. I'm like, what's? What's the game plan? And then to combine that with the kid who's thinking he's now, you know, he's going to be a big shot. He's like, finally, I got a stable job and get a steady, steady income. He's now anchored himself to this freaking chaos, to this storm. And it's just, it's just the parts of boom, boom. It's like a beautiful, beautiful symphony, how this is written. And we get into episode four and we start to see what happened to Sophia. We start to see um, how she got into Arkham. And it's just, oh man, it is, it is beautiful. And we start to see that Penguin, this dude, like he was saying, hey, I'm just doing my job. I'm like, nah, were you? You didn't like that you were disrespected. And it's the same thing that happens, you know, at the, at the end of episode three, where she says, hey, you're nothing but my driver. Let's keep that clear. You're nothing but my driver. That's what you are, okay? We're not in, we're not equals by any stretch of the imagination. And I think it's that constant, that constant chipping away at him, right? Just constantly be reminded, hey, you're nothing. You're really nothing, you're a stooge. Even when you break away from the pack, you're still a stooge, you're still nothing. You still need other people. And, you know, just seeing him come into the penguin that we know, um, this is just a beautiful journey. It's really a beautiful journey. And how they set up Sophia, and what she had to go through and do to, you know, I think if you haven't seen episode four by now, I don't know what to tell you. So spoilers ahead, but going through as far as how her father, right? She was going to have it all. She was going to have it all. And she just could not get over the fact that who her father, what, she, what her father did, what her father did. And it's just like, she, he was like, Hey, he's, he's weak. You know, he's not strong like us. He's not tough like us. And just to show that, Hey, She's tough, but there are certain limitations to, to her toughness. There are certain breaking points that everyone has. To come to find out, right? You know what your father does, but also at the end of the day to find out that, hey, he, he's the one that did this to mom? This is, this is the person who, like, just what? And then after him saying, hey, he's not tough like us, I already knew what was gonna happen. I already knew what was gonna happen. If you know at the back of your head, even if you suspect that he was the one that did that, what do you think he is capable of? What do you think he's willing to do to silence any dissenting opinions, to silence any negative uh, uh, press, any negative coverage? What do you think he's willing to do? And I'm just like, I don't know, I felt like she was smarter than that. But also I get the naivete. And, and then I also get that, hey, I wanna know what happened to my mom. I wanna know what happened to my mom. That's what I want to know. So there's multiple factors, you know, just boiling in this amazing stew that is this character. 
and to have her sent, what, 10 years in Arkham? 10 years in Arkham, right? You're in, a, one day you're in a limousine with the driver, and the other day you're now in Arkham. 10 years being set up, being set up to make yourself, to, to, to be gaslit every day. That, that changes a person. And we see at the end of episode four that all those people who betrayed her, we, we see, we see, hey, she, she's, I think she's finally cracked. I think she finally, okay, now I see the world that it is. So before I was gonna, you know, you know, mind my business, mind my own, try to establish something, you know, outside of the family. Now it's like, there is no family. She has no family. So what does it matter to her? Whoo, I am excited. I love when shows bring you down this, this journey. Right? You think it's going one way and then it just completely flips. But it flips for the better because there's some shows that do that and they just destroy the show. They just, I don't know why you did that. But there are shows that they're like multiple climaxes. This is like, oh, oh, oh. And I have a feeling this man, oh, fingers crossed, bro, fingers crossed. We are on uh, the cusp of greatness, okay? We are watching greatness. Uh, unfold before us. I think these people should get an unlimited budget to write whatever they want. If we can get these people in the movies, if they can write the movie, the next Batman, if they can write, just they need to be the, the people to go to when it comes to DC. And DC will completely skyrocket to the top. That's my opinion. If you haven't seen The Penguin, I really don't know what you're doing, doing with your life. I really don't know. Okay, I really don't know. The show is that good. It's that good, okay? Really that good. Um, depending on how it ends, I may put it above House of Cards, and y'all know how much I love House of Cards, but I don't know if that would be fair because, you know, what happened to Kevin Spacey and yada yada, but nevertheless, the, it, it's, it is great. It is absolutely great. I think coming from Joker 2, having the Penguin come out every week, I think it gives a lot of people something to live for. It's like, if I can just make it to Sunday, I can watch the next episode. <laughs> if I can just make it to Sunday, just make it to Sunday. I know you're going through things, but just make it to Sunday so we can watch the ne next episode. Anyways, guys, that's that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think, whether or not you're enjoying the show, whether or not you think it could be better or there's some faults that you find in it. Um, regardless, make sure to, to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, keep animating.